for today's video i'm just gonna be doing a halloween look i don't know why i couldn't think of that so i saw on like we heart it that's usually where i go where i see like makeup inspo and stuff like that so they did like um one eye was like a devil and one was an angel and i thought it was the cutest idea because it's something like pretty subtle but still like halloweeny type stuff you know because i'm not good with like special effects and stuff like that well i've never really tried it but i'm scared to because i feel like it's really hard anyways i couldn't find out who originated it so this is what i'm going to be doing there's like can you see that the the angel and then the devil so i'm gonna attempt to recreate this i'm hoping it comes out nice but we'll see so i've already done all of my base makeup um i did just my regular makeup routine and i did prime my eyes with my concealer so to start out, I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty um, Desert Dusk Palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade Amber. It's like this um, orangey red color, but I feel like it would be a really good color to peek out at the top. So I'm just going to buff this one all into my crease. And then next, I'm going to go in with uh, the JH37, which is like a little bit smaller, but still like a fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to go in with the same palette, but I'm going to go in with Saffron which is just more of like a reddish color. Put that right below it. This is gonna add that red into it. Okay, next I'm gonna take a Morphe E18, which is just a smaller blending brush, and I'm gonna go in with um, this black shade down here in her Jaclyn Hills Original palette. And I'm gonna start off with just a little bit, and I'm gonna put that right in my crease. Um, and I'm going to end up doing a half cut crease, but for right now it's going to go right in the crease. I'm going to go back in with that saffron color on that same brush that I used and kind of go over the edge of this black. So that way I can add that red back in there because it kind of got a little bit lost. I'm going to continue to build that black right in my crease. That way whenever I do my half cut crease, it's going to be really pigmented and show up super nicely okay next i'm gonna go in with um, my Too faced concealer and a morphe m432 and i'm gonna do um a half cut crease next in the center of my eye i'm gonna go in with this deep um red shimmer and i'm gonna do a red shimmer Pretty much in the middle of my eye with black on the outside and then it's going to go to gold and then to a white shimmer now i'm going to go in with that gold and i'm just going to tap in between them to kind of blend them together and i kind of want a little more red to show so i'm going to go back in with the red and just build it up a little bit more and for the very very inner corner i'm gonna go in with koosh by ColourPop. it's one of their little um foiled glitter things and i usually use this for an inner corner highlight because it's like the perfect shade it's kind it kind of reminds me of um vermeer from the modern renaissance palette now i'm going to go back in with that black and i'm going to put it on the outer corner and kind of blend it all together Now I'm just going to go in with my NYX matte eyeliner and I'm just going to do a basic wing. So now I'm going to use, I think I'm just going to use this lipstick by Too Faced because it's like the reddest of the red and it's like super, super, super pigmented. So sorry, I'm shaking the camera right now, but um, I think I'm going to go in with this. It's Lady Balls by Too Faced and I'm going to use this to create the horns at the top as well as there's like a little swoopity swoop arrow thing right there, which I, in my opinion is gonna be like the hardest. So I'm gonna use this little brush. This is actually like really, really good for detailing. It's the, it came in the little package with the Maybelline gel eyeliner. Um, I've had this literally since I started makeup, like since I very, 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 very first wore eyeliner. When my mom should have told me to stop but i kept doing it anyways 
so yeah because this is like a really small dense brush so it's gonna and it like gets flat so it'll be easy for me to like draw okay so so far i have like the outline of it but now i have to go in and like actually make it way more pigmented and thicker and you know all that junk so Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. I have to go in and clean it up with some concealer and maybe a little bit of black eyeliner and then I think I'm okay. Now I'm going to do um, the horns. So this is what I have. I think it actually looks pretty good. For my first time like ever trying something like this, I feel like it's not that bad. Okay, now that all that is done, now it's time for um, the lower lash line and lashes. Okay, so I'm going back in with saffron and I'm gonna smoke that out on my bottom lash line. And I want this to be like a really like smoky look. So I'm gonna smoke it out pretty fast far down now i'm gonna take a jh 43 um, which is just this flat brush and i'm gonna um, go back in with that black and put it right on my lash line and i'm debating on if i want to put black in my waterline they have red but i don't have a red so i'm thinking about just doing black let's smoke this out Okay, now I'm just gonna put black in my waterline with a Smashbox um, eyeliner in Fishnet. And I'm gonna go back in with this flat one and kinda smudge it out, put it in place. Okay, now that that's done, um, I'm going to let my camera charge just a little bit before I get started on the other eye. I know it's not gonna take me nearly as long but I'm gonna let it charge and I'll, I'm just gonna put on some lashes and some bottom mascara and I will be back in just a second. All right guys, I'm back. Um, this is the final look for this eye. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the next eye, which is gonna be the angel eye. This one shouldn't take as long. It's not as like detailed and everything as this one is. Um, so it shouldn't take that long. I think the longest part will probably be the outside wing. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so first I'm going to take a medium fluffy brush. I'm going to take a Morphe M573. And I'm going to go in, I think, with actually the Life's a Drag palette because they are, it actually has some really good browns in there. So first I'm going to go, let me take this one. First I'm going to go in with hunt tea which is this one right there i think no i'm not i'm gonna go in with sickening first which is right next to it and then i'm gonna go in with this one and then probably this one yeah so i think i'm gonna use these three shades right here okay so there's that now i'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush I think I'm gonna go back in with this JH37, which was like the medium blending brush, this one. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit darker brown. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and go in with Mug, which is the darkest brown in this palette. And I'm gonna put that right below that. You have to keep in mind that you want this look to be super, um, subtle and dainty and not very much color which i just put a lot of color okay now i'm gonna go in with a morphe e18 and i'm gonna use a little bit of a 
darker brown. I think I am gonna go back in with mug, but I'm gonna do it, focus it like right on my lower crease because I will be cutting my crease or doing like a half cut crease, I guess. But over that crease is gonna be glitter. So kind of hard to explain, but you'll see. Okay, that was easy. Now I'm gonna go and do a half cut crease. And it doesn't have to be like absolutely perfect because um, you're gonna or I'm gonna end up putting glitter all over the crease anyways, like pretty thick. I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for the glitter earlier, and I'm gonna first go in with this white shade cake face by um, out of the Life's a Drag palette. And I'm gonna pack that and the whole thing because I'm gonna go over it in a minute with a different color, but this way it'll all be set. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with this same JH37 and I'm gonna go in with Sickening, kind of in the middle and closer to the front front um i'm gonna have like white and then like a light brown khaki and then a darker brown but on the very corner of my eye i'm gonna end up having the white wings so it doesn't have to be a lot of pigment right there it's just the front part that i'm worried about okay and now i'm gonna go in with mug on the outer corner of my eye that. But I'm gonna go in with this Stila glitter. I don't know if I want to go in just straight or if I want to put it on a brush Okay, so I'm gonna put it on this cheap little brush from I don't remember where probably like Amazon or something um, It's just an angled brush. It's kind of like a eyeliner brush And I'm gonna put the glitter on there first because that way I feel like I have a little bit more control and I'm just gonna follow my crease And I do want it to be fairly thick, but I'm gonna try not to look up too much because I don't want it to transfer. Next, I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner, the white eyeliner, and create this wing. I'm gonna do it like super, super lightly at first so I can kind of outline it, and then I'm gonna like color it in and make it super pigmented. I just realized I'm supposed to be telling you guys what I'm doing. Okay, so here's the wings. They kind of look like trash because this is the worst white eyeliner you can possibly own. But it's the only one I have and if you're recreating this look, I would probably use like a Stila one or just really any other brand other than NYX. But it's, I mean, it's working. It's just not the best. And I also think I dragged it out too far on my eyelid. But whatever. But I am going to put a dark brown along my lash line um, for where I'm going to put my lashes. So I'm going to go back in with Mug on my JH43 and I'm just going to put it right on my lash line. Okay, next for my lash line, I'm just gonna go back in with Sickening and Mug and smoke out my bottom lash. Okay, and then I'm gonna put on my lower lash mascara. 
And I'm gonna put this in my um, water line. This is just the Milk Jumbo Pencil by NYX. It's just a white pencil. Now, the last thing that I have to do is put the halo up here. So there's like a gold base, like a gold um, shimmer eyeshadow base. And then on top of that, I'm going to put like a yellow um, ring for the halo. So first, I'm going to pack gold eyeshadow on using my Morphe JH41. And I think I'm just going to do legendary out of this palette. And I'm just going to put it like right above my, the arch of my eyebrow. Now I'm going to go in with my yellow NYX eyeliner and I'm just going to create a circle, which is going to mimic the halo. Okay, so this is the final look. All I did was add I made the halo a little bit bigger um, just because the, it was like overwhelming with having this so big and then this one small and then I added white to brighten it up a little bit more. And then for my lips, I did um, the same red that I used for the horns on this side. And then for this side, I used Sugar Cookie from Too Faced. This is a part of their new um, little holiday collection set. and. Yeah, it's really cute. It's a really good nude, so it was perfect for this eye look. It's super subtle. But anyways, that's it for today. This is my first Halloween look ever, so don't roast me. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.